Fingers aren't the only things to think about when working with track. A near miss due to the mechanic's failure to restrain the track before he unloosened it at a high point. Here, they're about to push a high sprocketed machine from an old set of tracks onto a new set. With both tracks removed, the machine is free to roll. On a slight grade, it may just take off. Hey, get away! Drag on down! Red throw, that cover! If they'd had an operator in the machine, he could have stopped it by dropping the ripper or blade. Now, they should have planned proper blocking and restraint. But better still, they should change one track at a time. Then there can't be a rollaway. Hurry and failure to heed safety warnings can also endanger those doing routine maintenance. Despite constant warnings about hot oil and pressure systems, some optimist always thinks he can get his hand away in time. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Hot! Oh, oh God, somebody help me! Needn't have happened. The temperature gauges, pressure gauges, and the safety caps on cooling systems are there to prevent accidents from occurring. The people who shake hands with danger are those who don't learn beforehand what they're getting into. Like the owner whose brake rotor chamber has been losing air pressure. Hey, Sam! I got the brake chamber off the loader. I gotta run into the dealers to get some repair parts. While I'm gone, will you take it apart to save us some time? Okay, Bill. At this point, the service manuals call for the insertion of a threaded tool to hold the spring force. Sam hasn't read the manual. He doesn't know he's releasing a force that might be as high as 1,750 pounds. Whether you're working on anything from nitrogen accumulators to inflated tires, it pays to know the kind of power you're dealing with beforehand. The warnings about gasoline are as old as use of the fuel. Yet somewhere, somebody is always deciding it won't hurt to use it as a cleaning fluid just this one time. Oh, he'll empty the pan very carefully, but just as soon as he finds a rag to wipe off the carburetor. Meanwhile, the fuel keeps vaporizing. I've only got about another hour to go on this thing. I've got to get that thing washed over there. Now it'll be done in a minute. It's possible to become overconfident about handling dangerous materials. A good reason why safety instructions should be repeated at frequent intervals. Oddly enough, it isn't lack of familiarity with a job that causes most accidents. Often it's the routineness of the work that makes a person overconfident. Now, Bill Myers is changing buckets, a job he's done at least a hundred times. If he were new at it, Bill would be watching and thinking about every step. Now it's so routine that caution has been dulled. The hole is dry. The pin won't slide in. There's no stick or swab in the grease can, but he could surely find one if he took the time to search around. This is the moment, that split second when a man decides between being safe or shaking hands with danger. Uh, 
If he couldn't find a stick or a swab, Bill could have had the linking members moved apart and greased them separately. It would have been a nuisance, but Bill Myers would give anything to be able to go back and do it the right way.